Hello everybody and welcome to video message number 86. My name is Joseph Maldonado, otherwise known as Joe Exotic. And yes, I am running for the presidential candidacy of 2016. Today's video message is going to be a little lengthy, so bear with me. First thing I would like to address is the state of Wisconsin lawmakers up there that are in the process of introducing a bill to make it illegal for private owners to have exotic animals. The problem with all this, folks, is, is senators, House of Representatives up there in Wisconsin, I don't know if you're aware of any of this, but the ZAA and the AZA is nothing but private owners, people that have come together and joined a club. No different than the country club you golf at, ladies and gentlemen. And it is discrimination and an illegal monopoly here in America to make somebody join a nonprofit organization to be exempt from a law. Actually, it's criminal. It doesn't matter who you are. You cannot be exempt from a criminal law if there's a fine or an imprisonment attached to that law. Okay, I would like to say thank you for at least thinking broad enough to allow public contact at USDA licensed facilities. There's one mark up on you. But all of this has come about because of what? A hoax of a female lioness or a mountain lion walking through the neighborhood of Milwaukee? I'll tell you what. If that wasn't put out by the animal rights people in order to get you people to introduce this exact law, I'll kiss your butt. What would it take for the animal rights people to pay a few citizens within your county or within your state to say that they saw this mountain lion or this wild female lion walking through the backyard of a neighborhood in order to put some cash in their pocket and get you to pass and introduce a new law banning exotic animals. By God, if they can get away with killing somebody in Ohio to do this, they can get away with putting out a fake hoax video in Wisconsin. These laws that you're introducing about exotic animals is strictly, completely a waste of time, ladies and gentlemen. We have people getting killed out there drunk driving. We have people that are being terrorists, blowing up things and mass killing people in movie theaters and school Christmas parties and other things. And what are we wasting our time on? Exotic animal laws. Why? Because somebody's putting some money in your pocket. And that's going to get me to the next step, ladies and gentlemen. And if this doesn't piss you off, nothing will. First of all, we have an organization by the government called the EPA, the Environmental Protection Agency. All right. Meanwhile, you have senators that are receiving money and being paid to vote against the very own EPA rules in order to save our environment and save our climate. Take a quick look at these cutouts that I cut out to show you that senators, congressmen, and the GOP expect donations to themselves in order to vote in favor of one way or another of a bill. Now, if that isn't corruption at its first hand, I don't know what to call it. Obama, you want to do an executive order? Here's you two executive order challenges. And I would like to know how come you never see another presidential candidate even talk about how they're receiving funds in order to vote in favor of one way or the other. I thought they were put up there and put in this political position in order to protect this country and protect its best interests and to protect you, the American people that voted them into office to take care of. But it turns out that the only thing that they're concerned about is how much money they can get from a special interest group or a lobbyist in order to vote one way or the other to change your lives or to destroy our planet. So Obama, if you want to walk out of the presidential office with your head held high and know that you are supporting the American people of this country, here's an executive order for you to pass. That is making it illegal for any politician to accept money in any form of a donation 
or a political campaign fund in order to swing a vote one way or the other. It's time that they pay the price, whether it's in fines or be put in jail. They are put up there and paid. Must I remind you people, they serve two terms and they get paid the rest of their lives. They get medical insurance for the rest of their lives. I think they're getting a good enough bonus there without accepting political money in order to swing a vote. So President Obama, there's you an executive order. You could walk out of that presidential office with your head held high saying, I done something for America. I cleaned up the dirty politics that's in this country and make that executive order against the law to accept that kind of money. The second executive order you could do, and especially since you're black and you should know all about being discriminated upon, and that is it doesn't matter who you are, what club you join, if you're gonna ban an animal, ban it from everybody. Do not discriminate just because you're in some fancy high country club. Ban them from the AZA, ban them from the ZAA, and ban them from the Global Federation of Animal Sanctuaries if you're gonna ban them from my grandmother or my friend who owns an exotic animal. Let's start playing this shit straight across the board. You wanna straighten this country up? There's you two orders, ladies and gentlemen, and you other presidential candidates that are running for office. You wanna have some guts and you wanna stand up for this country? Let's put it back on track. You know, I don't think anybody disagrees with any kind of a law or idea that you have to put in place in this country, but it's the discrimination and the favoritism between organizations or who can throw more money. I think that first executive order would clean this country up just like that because they'll either do the job that they're voted in to do and that's the sole purpose they're up there for or they'll get their ass out because no longer means that they're going to get any more money and we can get some people in there who give a shit. Third subject I want to cover today ladies and gentlemen and that's all this gun control issue. I'm going to throw up a picture of an application that you fill out when you go to buy a gun and it asks you if you have been treated for any kind of a mental disability. Is there a fucking doctor standing next to you that's gonna verify whether or not you've been treated for a medical disability, a mental disability, or are you just gonna have to fill that out on your own and somebody's gonna have to believe you? I don't care how many forms you fill out, I don't care how many background checks you do, if my friend Fred was to go buy a gun today and in three years somebody push him over the edge, a background check ain't gonna stop him from going over the edge and killing somebody. A background check and filling out all the forms you wanna fill ain't gonna stop that person from going over the edge 10 years from now. And it damn sure ain't gonna stop somebody that's already over the edge, that's never seen a doctor, and he goes and buys a gun today and walks in somewhere and mass kills somebody tomorrow. You people are wasting more government money and more government time, and God forbid the news media could ever put any sense to any of this shit and put the truth back out there in the public and let the public understand what the hell's going on in this country. The problem is, is everybody's feeding off the bullshit. Nobody's got any common sense to put any thought behind the real problem. The real problem is, is the American people and the people that are on the edge are tired of getting fucked over by the politicians and everybody else forcing unjust laws upon everybody, just like the Wisconsin law. There's no need for that. First of all, find me a fucking line that was walking through a neighborhood and then we'll talk about it. But until then, I can promise you and put this video in your archives that you're gonna see more tigers being turned loose and walking around neighborhoods. You're gonna see a whole bunch more shit go on like this. Why? To push an animal rights agenda upon the American people. Why? Because you're making money off of it. Let me throw up another picture for you real quick. I just obtained this yesterday from the Department of Agriculture over there in Ohio. 24 more thousand dollars, lions, tigers, and bears build the state of Ohio for traveling and transporting a couple exotic animals. Jesus Christ, $24,000? Who couldn't 
drive from California to Ohio and back for $24,000. This just goes to show you the profit, the scams, and the crap that's going behind all of these laws that are being pushed for an agenda for the special rights and the special interest groups in order to profit and make money off of you, the American people. And when you're sick of this shit, you'll stand up and you'll get behind me and you'll say you've had enough. Because you know why? You know I'm right. I'm Joe Exotic, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm running for president of the United States. And if you're as fed up with this crooked bullshit as I am, get on www.joeexotic2016.com. Let me hear your voice, your concerns, and let's put a change to some of this crap going on in America. I'll see you tomorrow for video message number 87.